guys, Jordan Page with Millennial Moms here. Hello! It's Christmas time. Happy holidays! It is that time of year! Our family does not have any family in the state of Utah. 11 hours in any direction to see our family members. Yeah. We've had a lot of experience with road trips, so today I'm gonna share my best road trip tips so that as you travel for the holidays or otherwise, I'll make it a little less torturous. <laughs> Before I show you all my marvelous tips, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and be sure to leave your best road trip tips in the comments below so we can all learn from you. All right, now let's get on with it, shall we? Before your trip, leave a suitcase out for several days and fill it with things you wanna bring so your family doesn't wear them and get them dirty. Keep one pair of jammies at least and some shoes for everyone in your family because on the road trip, someone is bound to spill on themselves or pee through something, so it's nice to have a change of clothes handy. One of our best tips is to pack individual bags for every kid just full of snacks. Make sure all the bags are the same, write their name on them, and give them a variety, and then you hand them the bag and they get to choose throughout the trip what they want, which seriously saves you from like a thousand complaints. Here's a tip from Bubba. Pack your own sandwiches. It saves you from going through drive throughs so often. Make a bunch, you can even stick them in the freezer. Look at that spreading action. And they're tasty and easy to travel with. Toss some of those little bathroom Dixie cups in your snack bag for the road because they're really great for handing out snacks and even some larger plastic ones. And for a smaller version, these condiment cups with lids, you can get them just in the paper aisle at the store and they are great. We are big fans of neck pillows in our family. We tend to have one for each kid and it actually helps them sleep in the car and, you know, provides mild forms of entertainment at the same time. Before we turn on movies, we try to stimulate their minds with activities that do not create a mess, such as this bead magnet humdinger thing from Melissa and Doug. And also from Melissa and Doug, this water wow on the go pad is kind of cool. It uh, activates with water. We are also big fans of the aqua doodle and good old fashioned art like stickers and stamps. If you're going to color, we highly recommend these twistable colored pencils because crayons break too easily and who wants to pack a pencil sharpener around for colored pencils? I mean, come on. Don't forget a variety of toys for little babies. And hey, binky clips, best friend guys, tether those babies. To avoid spills, use a super hefty water bottle with a nice spill-proof lid. We got these Contigo water bottles from Costco and love them. And we're back. At each stop, have your kids help you throw away trash and clean up the car so it's not too much of a disaster on your trip. All right, time for movies. I got this double headrest DVD player from a yard sale and really like it because all the kids can see. Use a blanket or towel rolled up in the window to help with the glare on the screens. When you stop for food, ask for extra water cups and use that to help distribute the kids' food. It helps with spills and it fits in their cup holders, which is awesome. We like to use car seat lap trays to keep food off the floor. The entertaining doesn't stop once you arrive at your destination. Kids get bored on vacation, so bring a few things to stimulate their mind and keep them occupied in your hotel room or wherever. And then when you're ready to hit the road again, try to find a place to vacuum out your car so you're starting with a clean slate. Ta-da! Hoping those tips help in some way or another to make your trip a little less terrible. Terrible, I mean, make it better, a little better. Check out yesterday's video by clicking here and then see more from more right up here. And of course, subscribe like right here if you haven't already. See you guys very soon. It's torture to say we're driving again in the dreadful snow. That was pretty good.